This one's for the girls. Hello, guys, and welcome back to our podcast. We review uh, Produce Japan, The Girls, Season 3, <laughs> Episode 6. Um, we're so happy to have you guys back as we review this episode and the first four performances. Um, so with uh, no further ado, what did you think of this episode, Nisa? Um, the girls didn't come to play. <laughs> yeah. I really like this episode. I don't have words. I just have emotion. Emotion? <laughs> <laughs> just mm-hmm. For those that, did, that are listening and not watching, I just did like in, in place running motion. Just like, <laughs> I really like that stage. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, Nisa, do you want to talk about your top girls? I know you don't have a top 11, but your top girl. Yeah, so pretty much my top 11, I'm just going to leave it until the next eliminations and whatever happens, happens. I'll make a new one after Mm -hmm. we see the elimination episode. Um, Mm -hmm. I really feel like the biggest change after this episode is I think that Ayane is definitely my one pick for this show. Yeah, I still like Emma, but I feel like she's just like okay like she's just not someone that i'm really like fighting 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 for you Mm. know what i mean like that person Mm. that's like uh, if you don't get in at least to the finale then i'm gonna be so mad you know yeah yeah ayane is someone like i need her in the group or else i'll be mad so that's how i kind of realized like oh she's actually my one pick like if emma doesn't get in oh well like (laughs) you heard it here folks you heard it here first (laughs) yeah yeah so that's pretty much it same top 11 as last the previous episode and after the eliminations i'll share a new one with you guys so oh, no. but i'm curious about your top 11 oh because the things had to change <laughs> yeah i'm curious i'm curious i can't share because the new computer had to set the settings and whatnot but i do have them listed because i write down my top 11 before i make the little graphic yeah so i'm just gonna read it all mm-hmm. in first place mana in second place joa mm-hmm. in third place ayane in fourth place, uh, Kotane. In fifth place, Shizuku, because a Shizuku that body and soul. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> she won me over when she said, she's like, they said I had a classical appeal. And I'm like, mm hmm. And she said, I did not like that. And I'm like, great. <laughs> I, like, I love when they're aware. Mm-hmm. And then she changed her whole vocals and. She still had a little bit of classical in there. But I like that. I like that. <laughs> yes, because I guess we can, we can talk more about that performance mm-hmm. later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When she hit her high notes, it was very classical. And I yes. was like, oh, you're going to be such a great, like, Glinda, a great Legally Blonde. Like, she's going to, yeah. if she does not make this group, she's going on Musicals. Broadway. Yes. I, yeah. I, and she's going to be famous. Um. Uh, Suzumi, Suzumi, who is Ebihara Izumi, like, you know, like, mm-hmm. cl- she's my six. Then after that point, this, I just placed, because I don't care anymore, like, mm-hmm. with anything beyond that. So it's just like, Miru, uh, Miu, and Momona, and Kokoro, and, mm-hmm. and uh, Sakura, uh, Kizuzumi Sakura. I don't know about that other one, the blonde mm-hmm. one. I don't know about her. And in my 11th place, honorable mention to Karen, because she was struggling with that dance. And I I feel for those that are trying. And she did a good job. She's on Wadada. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I feel it. And she's a nice vocalist. I'm sure she'd been, if she was a part of the JL1 cover group, mm-hmm. they would have appreciated that. But we'll get into them later. Because mm-hmm. I think she could have been placed with a group that needed vocalists. Yeah. And they could have put the girls that needed to be in a dance group in the dance group. But that being said, she did great in the dance group even though she wasn't as uh strong but she did great and i'm like okay so she's one to look out for for me because i'm like okay if you can do that then that's great yeah anyway i'm going on that's my top 11 so far yeah there's something about joa there's something (laughs) about her (laughs) in a bad way or in a good way in a good way like she just (laughs) she just she just it's just my brain like in a good way 
all I'm gonna say is I'm gonna hit that ah, 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 that the run and jump. I was like, I was like, oh, should we just talk about that one first, or should we go in order? Should um, we do Wadada first? Let's go in order. Let's go in order. Okay. So let's talk okay. about Wadada first. So Wadada mm-hmm. was the dance team. Yes. And they had I actually have the members' names this time because there's only 50 girls, so I can write their names. Um. So the members are Nakamori Mikoto, Yoshida Ayano. Oh, also my phone sometimes like auto corrects names, so if I like say something weird. Hit me, so Hit me yeah, with that jar. Hit me with jar. I typed in someone's name and it's I, I think it was like Mitsu something and it corrected it to Mitsubishi. And I was like, that is not her name. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. uh Nakamori Mikoto, Yoshida Ayano, Uchiyama mm-hmm. Rin, Kawabata Ranka, Kano Miyu, Koyama Mana, and Otsubo Karin. And first right. place in that team um was Ranka. Right. And second place was Mana. Oh yeah, I forgot she was high. I wanted her oh. to get first. I, I want I wrote it down. I said, oh, this is important to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I start uh, with my thoughts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um overall, this stage, I think out of the stages that we've seen in this episode so far, this was the stage for me. And I think once we see all the stages, I think this will still be my favorite stage because really? from beginning to end. When I was watching it, my jaw was just like dropped, like whoa. And then even towards the end, they did like uh like the Michael Jackson, like the lean fall forward. Yeah, and then instead of the went... the weird leg thing that we yeah, had to do. Exactly. Yeah. And then they went into like the back joint. And I was like, that contrast, I literally went like whoa. Out loud, mm-hmm. I literally said whoa when I watched mm-hmm. that. Like, I think I just really like their stage because they they kept the key pieces of Wadada, like the iconic parts of the dance, yes. and then made it better. And then they changed choreo to better choreo. So I just right. liked their entire choreo better than Wadada choreo. Like one part when they're like, room, 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 like a super sonic or something. They go, so the original choreo is like, room, 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 super sonic, let's go. Like they just yes. point, but they change even that small thing. They change room, 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 super sonic let's go like it's like they added an extra hit like that small to the beat too yes to the beat and then everyone hit it i'm just like something that small just made me like them even more so Mm -hmm. i don't know to me i think that was just the best team which is funny because that was leftover girls the bottom rank like and they were all in that group i felt like they were very talented i'm like leftover girls but this isn't like a second first round leftover girls like they yeah. all handled it really well yeah um you said you described it better than i could so i'm glad you went first um they weren't my favorite stage but they mm-hmm. were definitely up there mm-hmm. i think just everyone brought it except one stage everyone really brought their a game so it really it's hard to say well this i know who my favorite stage is but mm. this one was up there for sure yeah definitely yep. i really enjoyed it Yes, and our girl Mana, her little twirl thing. Immediately yes. when she did that, I was just like, "See, you're in my top eleven for a reason." And shout out to Kano Miyu for doing Wadada, even though she's a part of Girls Planet. Um, yeah. She didn't stand out to me, mm-hmm. but I just wanted to shout her out because she felt emotional. Because she's like, "These are the girls that I trained with," and I, I mean, I get that, you know. So shout out to her. Yeah, um, yeah. It, but it shout out to it. Mana too because. <sighs> She needs to be in this group. I'm. I really hope that they panic vote her in. Her and Joa and everyone's like, "Oh, how how did they get it?" And I'm like, "Yes, I can see <laughs> Joa getting into this group." And she like Joa looks like a dark horse. Like that's literally her vibe. Like she will get into this group. Uh, my only we'll get into her, but how dare she grow out her bob? I'm so sick. I'm so sick. <laughs> How <laughs> dare she tell her scalp? Okay, stop growing hair right now. <laughs> she it can grow. She just needs to keep like she just needs to keep it trimmed and let them ladies mean. just like bend it at the end, give it a yeah. nice little bump. Oh, yeah, there are like... girls who carry around like scissors. <laughs> like and every time, every morning they wake up when they see their bob growing out a little bit, they snip, snip. Because I'm like, how sick. I'm sick. How dare you grow out your bob? This is your signature. There's that one girl in the top 11 that has that bob. And if you just replace her with you, no one would notice. (laughs) We can't let them notice. (laughs) But no, no. uh, Team Wadada, very good. Very good. And I'm not upset with who got first place. I mean, to be honest, they all did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. She she deserved it. And I think Mm -hmm. Mana, like, if she got first, it would have been good to, like, the audience, I, they it makes sense. 
I'm just glad that she ranked high because it tells me that she has a fan base and there is room for growth. Mm-hmm. I hope she pulls, um, well, I hope Joa pulls the young gun, but I hope she pulls a hidden planet pass experience into the top 11. Because mm-hmm. I, I I really think her visuals are so, they're going to be like elevate this group to another level. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. I think that's it with Wadada. Like it's nothing but praises for them pretty yeah. much. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Da, da. Like every, every, like literally from beginning to end, I was like, wow. Like I think that they was outdid their best. the choreographer. Yes. I think that was, what's funny is all their practice stages, it was always something off. And I think they just needed to be in front of an audience. Yes. To level yeah. up to get that extra oomph and everyone was in sync. I didn't see one person that was off. So that was really, really good. Really good. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. You want to talk about the next stage? Which one was it? Um, So the next stage is the vocal stage, which is Mm -hmm. Hero by Namie Amuro. And the members were Ebihara Suzumi, Ando Yui, Takagu Mayu, uh, Ida Shizuku, your favorite. (laughs) And then in first place was Ando Yui. Yeah, she deserved first place because uh, Ebihara, she was, she sounded great, but I feel like some of those ad libs weren't particularly necessary. Yeah, and I kind of agree too. And even in the show, I I don't know if it was one of the trainers. So the the producers that they were working with like added ad libs, and then yeah. I think they they practiced in front of I forgot Aoyama Telma. They practiced in front of her, and then Telma was like. Uh, maybe it's too many. Like, did you want that many or did you want a melody? I forgot which master said yeah, that. Yeah, no, but it was, and she was like, they asked me to come and practice alone. I'm like, cool of you to tell them so that there's openness and transparency. But also I, and it's because I'm not Japanese. That is their culture to seem humble in that kind of way. But in, re- in my Americanness, I'm like, don't apologize. Because you are happy you got those ad libs because you want to stand out because you wanted to be main vocalist. If it was, I just, again, this is because I'm American, I would have preferred her to have owned it. I think she, um, she was stressed and apologizing about it because mm. if she didn't say that, it would give off the impression of her going behind her teeth. Yes, back. yes. The so she has to right. say that, right. I didn't right. do this with the intention of going behind your back. They, mm-hmm. you know, did this. They, yes. And I get that. I And again, don't, I don't want people to think I'm mad at her because I'm not, because like, you know, whatever, it's still show business. But I was just like, don't you, aren't you kind of like happy that you? Oh yeah, she this? said she was happy. She said she wants the part, but it's right. just. Right. I just didn't get the crying bit. I'm like, girl, just own it. This is, just own it. Like. She's an extrovert. So everything's going to be extra. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I, I miss a Yonce. I miss her. I, if it was her, I probably. Oh, that gave me ad libs and <laughs> I've been like, great. You know, this is me being biased. Because I'd be like, I, I would have ate it up. I'd be like, I agree with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway. But I think it worked out in the end because every yes. Hara can stand out without yes. overshadowing. And then yes. she ended up, Ando or Yui ended up getting first anyway. So it, and rightfully it kinda, deserved. Yeah. Rightfully really deserved. Good. It was really, I feel like everyone in the stage did well. I just, um, Except Miyu. What's her name? Mayu? Miyu? Ma- yeah, oh, she- oh, it's Mayu. Mayu, right? Yeah, um, Mayu. She, right. I think her voice was fine, but her expressions and emotions just weren't there. And it kind of like ruined the group. Like the when- three girls had chemistry and syn- yes. synergy. And she was just like, I'm going to well, sing bas- my line and I'm done. Ba- basically, it was like the three singing girls and me. And I was like, they needed to give you some Sohi training, some JYP Sohi training, some... Ioi so Sohei, some some eyes one uh what's the girl hey one training where you you gotta give face and yeah. and be warm and we know you're not the best singer that's okay but we want to see you want to perform this song and yeah. the performance and I say this all the time and I say this in many other episodes it's about showmanship exactly and she was lacking showmanship exactly. there are so many times I've been in covers and I know I'm not the greatest this and greatest that but I'm going to smile and wink and it make, it make you feel like I'm enjoying doing this. And it adds to the performance. Exactly. But what's interesting is 
I think it was season one of Produce Japan. They were really focusing a lot on showmanship. I don't remember which male uh male trainer was there. He's like, you guys don't act, don't act like entertainment is just this this thing. Your showmanship is lacking. I don't know if they brought him back, clearly not, but uh they that concept needs to be going throughout the whole series. Yeah. But anyway, she's lacking. Oh, go ahead. I feel like she will get eliminated off of that mm. performance alone because that episode aired what like, like it was the first episode in this set yeah. to like, air like mm-hmm. i can see her fans dropping her because right. like it, even if someone's my one pick if you don't look like you want to be there why would i keep voting for you if you don't want to be there i'm not going to vote for you to stay i'm just going to give someone else the vote this, this is not true long <laughs> yeah like she <laughs> might is... really be get right. eliminated just from this this is not a loose situation where it's like, oh, he doesn't want to be there. Let's vote for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but I like everyone else. And shout out to Shizuku because she did her thing with, I hope I pronounced her name right. Um, she did her thing. She really changed up her vocals. But that classic training is really good with those high notes. Yes. I like how the quality, now having a mixture Mm-hmm. I like that element. When it was yes. just all classic and body and soul, I was like, this is too much. Yes. I it was, was kind of worried much. about her because she was like, I want to drop the classical voice. And then the trainer said, oh, good. Like you broke your classical voice habit. So when I was about to like watch the stage, I was like, okay, she's about to sound like any other chick, <laughs> but she did it. I'm so glad she still has the same voice. Like I was so scared that she was going to lose because I feel like, that's your charm. So if right. you say you want to get rid of this thing, then what makes you different from all the other girls? Nothing. So just go home. I think, I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but she, I I felt like she knew when to turn it on and turn it off. And that is great. Now I feel confident if she moves further in the competition that she will know how to sound good for, as a female pop group mm. and then turn it on for those extra little spiciness. Because she did the classic, with the high note and harmonize with someone that wasn't. So it sounded so much fuller. Yes. And I I like I like her training. Like now I can really appreciate her. And I like someone that's self-aware, as I said before. So I really appreciate that. And when she was singing that little song to like give them, you know, energy, I was like, mm, Yes, that mm, was nice. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that like if she did get into this group, they could do some interesting concepts with her voice. Yes. Yes. It would be interesting. Yes, I agree. Yeah. There's yeah. interesting vocalists on this show. <laughs> now that we've thinned the herd, we can really appreciate who's left. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you want to go on to the next stage? Yeah. So um, the next performance was the dance stage, Run Run. And mm. the members were Tanaka Koto, Aramaki Joa, Kitazume, Kitazume Sakura, Saito Serina, Tanaka, Yuki, Yamazaki, Mitsuki, and Sutani Yurara. They said, ah, ah. Yes, with Joa ah. in first place. So I will go first because it's very brief. Yes. You're not going to like this, but maybe because the show is so long, but right. I felt like the stage wasn't that good. It was. Oh. It wasn't that special. I felt like... Yeah. I just don't remember anything that happened. And it was just a performance, except for yeah. Joa's. Like, except for Joa's solo and then the opening, I liked. And then, like, a little bit of this. But besides that, it's not like what a dot where I'm like, oh my gosh, and this verse, and this chorus, and this part, and this bridge, it was good. Like, I just remember pretty much Joa's parts. Other than that, it was just okay. Maybe because Joa's, like, low-key tied for first place for me with mana i was really invested yeah and i was invested in her center story and i was like really into it and didn't soccer do the flip thing mm-hmm. like yeah, i was like into it I'm, and normally it wouldn't be into songs like this but i was just like really like the opening and the, the choreography and the hand choreography and then just kind of like the rivet the rivet what was it like rippling affect the dance and how they were so like unified and I just thought it was cool and the two girls I don't remember their name but the two dance girls that had that like face-to-face I see you you see me moment and then 
uh, Lesko Janino was telling them. Um, oh, yeah, like, that part was nice. Like, yeah. they're like, oh, you need to see yourself in the other girl and, you know, accept your child, your differences and, and all that. And then it made the performance even better. And I loved the backstory and I loved just how they came together and they and they knew they were decent, but they weren't great. Mm -hmm. And then they worked their tails off. And I just saw it through the stage. And I feel like when you get a song that's not normally my taste and you make me like it, it comes toward the fact they worked very hard. So I just was really into it. And that, and then the fact that they were just kind of doing this, like they're, they're running in place yeah. one girl. And then they had this kind of shimmy to, 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 and I was like, like this is kind of thingy. right. But when one girl was doing it and they're waiting, the other girls was kind of hitting it. And I was like, this is great. Mm. And I, I just loved it. And then Sakura with her little flip, I was like, that's why you're probably in the top 11 right now. I get it. All right. Understood. I just thought it was a really good performance. I hope it made sense. I was just, I probably need to rewatch it, but without all the cuts and stuff, just rewatch the, the just the stage. stage. Yeah. 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 But I was just into it. And I was just like into Joe. It's like, I need to like power up for the center part. And she did. And my only thing is she, I'm sick. She needs to keep the bob. I don't know why I saw that ponytail a little bit too long. And I was like, hmm, we can't place you in and, you know, sus disguise you if you don't look like that other girl, even a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, she was great. The team was great. Sakura and Joe were the two standouts for me. Shout out to the other dancers. I'm sorry. I don't remember you guys like that. Mm -hmm. But Joe and Sakura killed it. Mm -hmm. And Sakura was smart saying, I was a cheerleader for X amount of years and I know how to do acrobatics and I'm going to add this into this show. Hey, hey guys, we should do this because it's more interesting. E and, and I don't want to get eliminated. I need people to remember my name. I'm going to do this flip and then y'all going to be cool with it. Okay, yeah. great. Cool. Yeah. But the, you, who could say no to a flip though? <laughs> Those that also know how to do flips. None oh. of them can do that but her. So they're not going to say no. Because if she, another girl is like, can do a flip too what let's do backflips together but no she's the only one that can so she's like hey um let's add a flip in here mm -hmm. and, I, and i hope she does that every stage until she gets because <laughs> she did a flip in her like audition stage yes so her I, think, I think she did a flip in her pr video too great that's yeah. her thing she you know how the pussycat dolls they have the one girl to lift her leg up in the sky like the one girl and pussycat dolls there's always that one girl that's like they're yeah, dancing they and then that. she like lift her foot up to yeah. her her head this is her but with like acrobatics <laughs> but no other than that i really love this stage it was my favorite i just i just was like ah, ah, right along with them i loved it i don't know wow. it was great so the energy was there. Wow. Yeah. I need to rewatch them. Just no cuts, just the full stage. I, I was I was vibing. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that was enough to put Joa as your one pick, basically. No, I mean she's tied with Mana for very different reasons. Oh, tied. Mana. Okay. Tied. They're like tied. They're tied. Like they're tied. But I want Mana in the first place because I just visually it looks nice. Mm -hmm. I but Joa is like in the group. I that's what I'm saying. I need for them to somehow, I need for the, the producers to panic vote and I get them in there. They panic vote. <laughs> but hard. the one person they can't panic vote out is Ayane. If, if, if Ayane, Joa, and, Ma, and Mane both all get in, I, I have, I would have, been, I don't know, I think we be speechless. I have not had a mass amount of people I rooted for get into the group. Mm -hmm. Let's I see. Only, let's see. Yeah. Let's anyway, I can go on. In like yeah. 30 days almost. Yeah, they're they getting through this show. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you want to talk about the next stage or do you have any last comments for? Mm -mm. Was the last stage that Miu vocal stage? Yes. <laughs> so the last stage for this episode is Shine a Light by J01. Ooh. And mm. the members were uh, Sakurai Miyu, Kato Kagura, Takahashi mm -hmm. Hina, Ando Chiharu, and Hidaka Hazuki. I think mm. first place was uh, Miyu, right? No, Miyu was second. I think Hina oh. was first place. No, hold on. I wrote it down. Uh, Hina. Hina was first place. Yeah, Hina first yeah. place. And then Miyu was second. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Miyu is like so pretty. Like every time I see her face like on the stage and off stage when her face is really done, I'm just like, this is like a gorgeous 
when person. she had no makeup on, I was like, you look like a regular person. Because when she has her stage makeup on, I'm like, you, this is a little AI. <laughs> you know, this looks so, it is. it's it, so it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 yes. But when Can't, she has I was, no... Go ahead, sorry. No, oh, that was so green. I was only going to say, when she has no makeup on, I think that she's still very gorgeous. She looks... Yes. I don't know. She looks like her, whether she's done up or not, she just looks like her and she just looks pretty in right. different ways. Right. I was, I so totally agree. When she, it feels like a pretty person you could see out in, in real life. Mm -hmm. But with that, with her stage makeup and everything, you hit it on the head. She's very Espa. Like I could see her with Ning Ning and all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But the actual stage, Oh, God. I don't know what was going on with their voices. Yeah. And Miu tried her best. Miu and Hina like tried their best. But even Miu had a pro had mistakes. Yeah. No, I think Miu only in the beginning, but then she she picked she it up. By the she end. recovered. I think when that first girl messed up, it went down. It threw them off. And it's always it went like downhill. That. Yeah. It because then it's like you're overcompensating, you're overthinking. Yeah. It just yeah, went downhill. I think it's a mental thing. Like you start <clears> overthinking <throat> it because even like when I perform or like when I'm filming any K-pop in public videos, yeah. Once one person messes up, like if you see it out the corner of your eye, it kind of throws you off. And then like the vibe shift, and then you start to like kind of mess up or just not there. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Usually when we do videos like that, we're just like, let's just start over. But they can't do that because this is live. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oof. Oh, man. Mm, it's poor girls. Yeah. yeah. That's all I have to say. It's poor girls. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It was it was bad. Yeah, I didn't know it, that Miu uh, could sing that well. I know that she was vocal on Girls Planet, but I guess I don't she's know. still not to me like if she when she when slash if she gets into this group, I don't see her as a main or even a lead. Oh no. But Absolutely it's not. nice to know that she has a little bark behind her bite. Yeah, she has that voice that's like, if you give her enough lines, she can dance and sing really well live. Right, right. But she doesn't have the voice no, that is no. just amazing. No, that's going to be left up to body and soul, Ayanse mm -hmm. and Ebihada. That is it. Yep. Notice how she's no longer her name. She's just a body and soul. Tomorrow. Body and soul. Ah, I like the classical <laughs> singer. <laughs> body and soul. <laughs> <laughs> I got too excited when she got on my screen. I said, oh my gosh, it's Body and Soul. I hope she secures her debut just from that stage, Body and Soul. I mean, I'm going to be real with you. It's giving potential 11th place, potential mm -hmm. 11th to 12th place. I'm just going to be honest. Like, we'll what see. we also have to see who gets eliminated. Yeah. And is it going to shift? Yeah. She might end up being panic voted in, voted in. But, but that's to shine a light. Sorry, we <laughs> talking. I'm so obsessed with body. So shine a light. Yes, continue. Yeah. I'm so um, sorry, Chiharu. So they had problems with Chiharu and her like leadership, and yes. obviously they're gonna edit certain things in to make it look mm -hmm. like really exaggerated. But like, yeah, she definitely just looked unfocused, and I'm not sure why. I think that like Miu didn't want the pressure of being a leader because no. if the team doesn't do well, then that's it on, looks her. Bad on her. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. It's, I mean, again, for her, like, um, she's like, I'm just going to be centered and I'm going to chill. And sometimes that's just what, you, like, sometimes you do want to chill. Like, why mm -hmm. do I have to be the leader just because I'm ranked higher, just because I'm centered? It's, it, it wasn't just that she could rank higher. They, bro they broke it down why she was centered. I mean, leader. They said she knows the skills. She knows that she has training. She's a professionally trained. She even knows how to play the piano. I said at that point, just yeah. give her the day. Just she had her, her phone over. out playing the little piano app. I was like, look, and playing the real piano. I was like, okay. I was like, girl, this is be Mark Jacobs, not Mark Jacobs at this point. It's it's uh, yeah. She she should have been leader from the beginning, but like I can see sometimes you don't want that pressure on you. Just because you can doesn't mean you always should. Mm -hmm. But. She, in this case, she should. <laughs> yeah, she she definitely should have. It, it was rough because some of these, I feel like they would have excelled if they were in other groups. Yeah, and like this group, I don't. I know they don't talk about they don't talk about um the alphabet rankings anymore. Only the mm -hmm. number rankings. Yes, but Ando, Chiharu, and Kagura were are F rank trainees, mm -hmm. and so very much 
And I guess they don't really think about that anymore, but you should still consider that rather than your number ranking, consider the skill. It, the number rank really matters more so in the first round, mm -hmm. honestly, because they're voting based on popularity. Yeah. But then the second round, only one person gets that bonus. And you hope your team all sounds like, not only that, you hope your team sounds good because then the rest of the country votes. So you want your uh, your performance to hold a vote. That's why like ice cream, majority of those girls and produce, not produce, sorry, God dang it. Girls Planet, they majority of them got saved because that, that stage was just great. So you're hoping that like everyone just votes for your good stage, especially if, you're, if you were shown in episode one of the uh, position challenge. Mm -hmm. that, that's why like the girls and salute, a lot of them got eliminated even though they won. I kind of didn't like this format. Like in this episode, I realized they did like the traditional produce format where mm -hmm. every member is competing with each other mm -hmm. instead of groups competing group. against groups, which right. I always prefer the group competing with the group because if it's a team of people competing with another team, then you won't get situations like Ebi Hara who's like crying because she's like, oh, I don't want to overshadow you because like they're competing with each other. Like you're competing with their right. own teammates. That doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't they reflect both have their on real life. Flaws, either. but I, I preferred how it was in Girls Planet. I I, I did. However, oh no, I didn't like Girls Planet. Boys Planet did it the right way. Right. I'm, I'm saying the only difference is I would prefer like dance go against dance and vocal go against no, vocal. No, that's why I'm saying Boys Planet. Oh, I see right. what you mean. Girls Planet yeah. had six member against six member, six member dance against six member vocal. That's stupid. Boys <laughs> Planet had vocal and rap teams against vocal and rap, and then dance and sing teams only against dance and team. Like that's why Boys Planet format did it the best way. Right, but then they're not gonna give us a season two to fix it. They're sick. Um, yeah. <laughs> nevertheless, uh. Sheesh. The, uh, I mean, it is what it is, you know? I mean, uh, I hope they don't have any regrets. Yeah. They, they have regrets. But because <laughs> 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 no, I saw me use crying and all of them were just like kind of stoic when they're sitting in their little ranking uh, mm -hmm. room. And I'm like, it's rough. Yeah. I'm hoping. I feel like, I mean, the concept challenge, yes, it's after eliminations, but I feel like that's where we really get to see people shine because we're coming in there's no bias like i know the song Wadada, so i'm gonna come in like, like with expectations already mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. for this like the concept challenge is my favorite because we don't know these songs at all the we concept just... challenge is my favorite too yeah, yeah yeah i'm looking forward to it and the songs just seem so good ayanse's gonna just bless that that vocal yeah the sprinkle I feel like I need Ayonce and Miss Classic in the same. <laughs> On the same I just want to see the blend. What would happen? Yeah, <laughs> because I just want to know: would it work together, or is that too much going on? I see know? what your where your mind's going. You're like, I just need to see a test run so mm -hmm. I can put them in the top 11 together <laughs> yes because like now because you know when you first form your top 11 first it's just like visuals and then like the one fan cam of them doing the theme song right but now you're getting to know them and then mm -hmm. after you get to know them now you're like okay what team would actually be a team like a cohesive team you know but they'd have to be on a like utopia but like it actually works out this time vibe because mm -hmm. I feel like you told me it was supposed to be that song from that show and it, it just was. didn't work out because none yeah. of the girls were giving yeah except Bo Ross singing for her dang life yeah but I mean they have Huang Ching Cho who was already checked out yeah she she was done <laughs> like she she went on stage and she I mean she smiled more than whatever her name is Mayu she at least tried to give a little bit but she was she, done her her peak was at Fiesta stage and she's like all right we good <laughs> but by that point like by the concept challenge you're either worn out or you're just pushing and pushing it to the end right and she was like when is that plane to china again mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. yeah anyway nonsense yeah. but what are you looking forward to for this next four stages in episode seven I I know the episode's out, so people have seen the performances, but I'm yeah, waiting but for the English, English subtitles. Subs. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really am looking forward to the rap. I think that after Boys Planet, after hearing the rap and I think it was rap and vocal with um, um I Jessie, see you yes, looking at my 
after Wumuti and Keita and <laughs> Ali Wonka gotta go, I was like, no performance can ever top this one. Like, no produce concept challenge can top that one in my opinion. Oh, you mean so, position challenge, right? Sorry, position, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No position challenge, I think, will be able to top that one to me. So I just I'm looking forward to like the raps that they write. Kotane somewhere upset hearing this podcast. I told them I didn't have screen time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other rap song? It's Chan Mina. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking I'm forward to the raps. It's gonna be nice. I'm excited to see Ayane sing. She's like the oh, and Kotane, whatever she does. Um, yeah. yeah, I haven't forgotten about her. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be exciting. This show is really fun to watch. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. But that. Do you have any final words? No, no. I think that's it. We'll see. We'll see after the yeah. next. I'm. I feel like I'm just waiting for the next set of eliminations at this point. <laughs> Like, all right, let's get to the concept challenge, people. <laughs> yeah, like ever since they dropped the songs like last week mm-hmm. or two weeks ago, mm-hmm. I've my mind has been on the concept challenge because I this just the teasers. I'm excited to hear these full songs. Yeah, I'm just excited. I don't have yeah. any expectations. I'm just like, no thoughts, just vibes. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But that's all we have for today's podcast, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and, and bearing with us as we get these uh, episodes out. Um, tell us who was your top performance from episode six in the comments. Tell us who's your current top 11. Um, tell us who surprised you the most this episode. Those are the comments we're looking for down under. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we will be back with episode seven next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what a da <laughs> <laughs>